Good day guys, welcome back to Hit Point Ten. My name is Rafal and I'll be your bartender for today. We're gonna to be continuing where we left off on day 214. Let's go and do this. And right off the bat, I need to move my face just a little tiny inty winty eeny eeny bit. Just wanna verify if my face is covering the stats or something like that. It is not. Okay, perfect. Just gonna move it a little bit to the left, like so. There. And now we're ready. And now we're ready. Yeah, it's a good game. Okay, it's a good game. We were talking a little bit about Skyrim before the stream. So, let's see what are we looking at. We're looking at a lot of gear. That we'll most likely need to sell. Uh, we need to still find the repair. Defeat the party of Joan Zibazil. Yeah, we gotta find one of the fortune guides. Conquer the Lentorian capital and conquer Voldeberg. I think we're working on conquering Voldeberg as we speak. We went to war against uh, the Reich just for that. And I'm sitting right there with 156 capable soldiers ready to attack Baron Matthias. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Hello, Dust. Welcome back to the end, my man. Doing good, doing good. Starting off with a bang by uh, kicking this guy's heiny. Self-righteous. Let's kick his ass. And this way we're also going to get our feet wet. I'm going to remember how to goddamn fight in uh, Mountain Blade. Sure. Go for it, Spectre. Far Queen and Country, it seems. Archers over here. Infantry in the front. Cavalry right at the back of the archers. Infantry stand closer. And everybody get into position. Quickly. Quickly, brothers. There is no time. Actually, there's not a lot of, uh... Not a lot of infantry now that I'm looking at it. But it should be okay. I think I'm gonna tell the calves to charge in. Yep. Because they are going through the infantry line. Oh my good god. We're doing okay. I'm not seeing any special units. Oh, I forgot I have the Kingslayer with this character. Not a hammer. <laughs> there. So, how are you doing this? What you playing nowadays? What you doing? Okay. Might call the... Cav back a bit. We'll see. We'll see if we need to. Tell them to manually move over there. Archers are doing good. They're shooting their way through the enemy. That's perfect. Kill a few of the these soldiers. They're ranged options myself. Speed of comfort. Please, stay away from me. There we go. Good, good. Oh no, my Zan Heavy Rider. Whatever shall I do without him? Oh, whoa, whoa. Uldin? Uldin, why do you have the flame Flamebringer? Uh... Did the Arcanist equip something new? I might have just equipped something new. Interesting. Sounds good. You're starting to feel like you need a new anime in terms of enjoyment or quality, like Shield Hero or Log Horizon. But watching some that's a bit uh, too heavy on the fan service. You need to break from the heavy fan service. I understand. I understand, my man. How about... Um, let's see. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know a good anime right now. Yeah, it is. It is a running enemy. That's a good running enemy. It's running quite well. Okay, we've regrouped, and now we're gonna tell the cavalry to re-engage. Just a little bit of loving. Wow, dude! You've been tanking those arrows! Yeah! Been tanking those arrows. Um, I assume you watched Goblin Slayer, right? Eh. I enjoy, I enjoy you, um, having to wait for a week for an episode. 
that means I just don't uh, burn out my, you know, need for to watching that anime. It was. It's very good. It's very good, Des. If you don't get easily triggered by fucked up scenery, then uh, Goblin Slayer is a must see. That's a must see, and you're you're gonna get attached to the characters real quickly. Okay, 18 red noun, we lost one guy that's on uh, Heavy Rider, which nobody's, let's be honest, nobody's gonna miss. Okay, then uh, Goblin Slayer will be up your alley. Alright, Graf Valdemar has escaped. Baron Matthias, I seem to recall that you guys told me that Self-Righteous is on the same level as um, Cunning Lord, so I'm gonna take him prisoner. Uh, holy crap, Baskets, what do we got here? Well, first of all, we got some prisoners, and then Valahir, Hiligord, Hersir, Huskarls, Ulr. Okay, I think these are some big boys that we're going to be getting. All right. All right. Uh, Battered Black Knight's Barbuda. We don't actually need anything from this pile, do we? But we do need a location to sell our shit. We do need a location to sell our shit. Arcanus, what did you equip? Uh, Kipped Executor. Heavy Night Axe and a Blade of Dragon Dynasty Warriors for Hyper <laughs> or something. Okay, that's cool. You look horrible with that armor, but what you gonna do? What's you gonna? Reinforce Noble Scutum. I guess we're gonna sell everything here. There's no... No point in no way. Alright, Huskarls, you're gonna be coming up. I'm gonna be utilizing you guys as... Cream of the Crop Infantry. We... We... We gotta. We gotta. Where is my infantry, by the way? Royal Guardsmen. Oh, they're a little bit lower. Lower and behold. That should be okay. And then a Valahir Hiligord, which I have no idea what, what it does, and a Valahir Hersir, which will become a Hiligord someday. To answer your question about games, you're uh, making your own game on the side for fun, slowly just to learn for fun while using art from public domain sites. For the current game, I'm unsure if you want to beat it, as you heard it ends as the next one starts, so basically a cliffhanger. So you may wait for a sale on the second game to finish the first. Oh, okay, awesome, cool. You're talking about of um, the one with iron, steam, something, something, turn-based JRPG. Don't remember the name. Trails in the Sky or something like that. Yeah, Trials of Cold Steel. Okay, never mind. Was way off. Was way off in that one. I'm going to travel towards Galv. No, I... Oh, my God. These guys will just start on burning everything for a while and not do shit. That's going to be a pain in the ass. And I don't really want the Elentor to grab much. Quest complete. Oh, we we finished the quest. Nice. And we actually receive a decent amount of experience. 2.5k. Um, but I actually don't want Elentor to grab a lot out of the Reich. I just want to take uh, Voldeberg. And that's it. For right now, let's keep on trucking. So that's our objective. We're going to take Voldeberg from the Reich. That should be an interesting endeavor. Sell everything after. Uh, I think I'm going to sell the reinforced Snowball Scootin. Ah, fuck, it's a good shield. It's an incredibly good shield. I like to keep it for one of the companions. Some of the companions will eventually be able to wear it, right? At least that's what I'm hoping. Uh, Baron, actually, Baron Boy, what do you got? You got a shield. Do you have the, in the in shield requirements? No. No, way off. Way off. Thrak, what shield do you have? A battered steel heater shield. Oh, fuck, that's even better than the Scutum. Arcanus Marcus. Let's check Marcus's stuff. Black Cross, even better. Okay. Normally you wouldn't care, but if there's a second game out there, you think that it makes more sense to either wait for a sale or only do part of a chapter a week till, till a sale appears. If you don't have the patience, if you don't have the patience, for example, I wouldn't mind finishing that game and wait for the next one to appear. 
or a sale to appear a little bit later on. I'm not rushing because I know that after I finish a game, I'm going to be busy with another game, you know, and maybe a little bit of a break from that game will do me good because I might burn out afterwards, you know. Okay, so Uldine, you now have that beautiful thing. You don't have the required. Yeah, you don't have the shield requirement. That's the problem. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. I understand. Let's go to the tavern, try to sell some prisoners, maybe find that uh, person that we need to give the quest to. I'd like to sell all of them. Make 2k. Not too much, but still. It's okay nonetheless. And now let's go back to the front line. Interestingly enough, I can't believe that we reached a point where the Zan is no longer our front line. Although they still have a shit ton of territory. They still have a shit ton of territory. Huh. When we start off our own faction, I might just start off from Lesber or Lovin or somewhere around that ballpark. That sounds kind of fun. I mean, just start, you know, from a Zan infested territory. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Would be an interesting challenge as well. Because last time when I played, I started from Villainaz, from the, the Bacal Giants, and while it was fun and interesting, it's kind of really off the beaten path, quite far away from any any resemblance of a front line. We'll think about it, we'll think about it. For right now, um, we're going to be working towards getting Voldeberg. How's our Renown looking? Show me my character report. Renown is just 1,602. We need 10k Renown, if I recall correctly, to do another quest. Yeah, it's insane like that. That'd be cool. That'd be interesting. They're traveling to Forneron. Really? Oh, right. They broke the... Now I know. They broke the... Um, thingamajig, the campaign. Uh, follow me. Perfect. I'll just take a few. Just take a few dudes. Uh, course of action, follow me. Perfect. No, I don't care about Archduke Tokugawa. Might take this guy as well. Hi, Duke uh, Ranueril. You look quite uh, edgy. Well, would you like to come with me? Oh my good god, yeah. Now that there's no uh, marshal in the way... I can actually tell these boys to come with me. Archduke Valthanion, I'll tell him as well. Truce has expired between somebody and somebody. Which, Albandiel, sure. Hi, wanna come with me? Oh, it would, be, it would be hardly proper to actually do some shit in this war, of course. Ah, let's see if Queen Arwen wants to join us in this glorious campaign. Hi, Mom. Can you come with me? Ah, oh, it would be hardly proper. Okay. It would be hardly proper for her to come with me. You're close to the end, so it's not a big deal to finish it slowly. So you could just jump into the second one from from the first without getting burned out. Okay. I guess that works. Uh, the Lord of Mechanics in Perizno are different from native. Even a sadistic lord can be can be befriended and rewarded with enough fiefs to make him accept your decisions without complaints. That does not mean that they're all worth recruiting, but if an important lord who owns a city who has special quests happen to be sadistic, it may be worth considering. Self-righteous ones are actually quite useful, raising to, raising to the level of a neutral personality native. The sadistic ones are very... something. Okay, let's go. Um, who's that person? Lagorthon. Let's see if Lagarthon wants to join our little uh, mini-campaign. Mini-campaign. Hello, Mountain Alas. Welcome back to the end, man. What's up? How you doing, dude? Um, move. No, don't get involved. Because they're going to eat that battle super quickly. Hi. Uh, come with me. Fuck yeah, you're coming with me. Now that we have around 500 soldiers following us, Voldeberg is ours. It's just, it's Dunyan Rings. Voldeberg, Voldeberg is Dunyan Rings. Hello, Mr. Super Bay. Welcome back to the end, man. What's up? Whoa, haven't seen you in, uh... Well, you visited recently. I think last week or something like that. But welcome back, man. What's up? Now, let's just take all of these beautiful, beautiful soldiers. 
and stick him up Voldebeg's butthole. Yes. That sounds amazing. Uh, you're a Kurnaz Gamer. This is a new nickname. Oh, okay. I don't know why your name seems familiar. The, the Mr. Super B. Super Bay. But still. How you doing, Kurnaz? So close. Oh, by the way, was Voldemort a siege tower? I hope it's not a siege tower. It's, well, we have infinite food, so we don't really care about being a siege tower. But whatever. We discussed a lot. All right, cool. You found out there was a third season of Sword Art Online. Is it still uh, the stupid gun game? I have no idea. I've stopped watching after, uh, after season two because I really did not like season two. I discussed a lot with uh, Chris, my boy. Sure. No problem, my man. No problem. So, we are near Voldeberg with 1k soldiers inside. That should be doable. No, oh, you, you stopped right after the first season? Cool. Each with their own. Actually, the gun game premise is in the third season, Des. Oh, I... I love you too, random citizen. Now, let's go ahead and besiege this place. How goes the Zan invasion? Oh, we stopped the Zan invasion, Montanellas. We've defeated all of the unique spawns, and they practically now have these territories. And we're also at peace with them. We haven't been at war with them for a while. Hmm, King... You talking about me, man? All I know this season is called Sword Art Online Alicization. Okay, that sounds kind of lame. If you're talking about me, I'm, I'm, I'm an innkeeper, not a king. And I'm 27. I almost will be 28 soon. Why, do I look old? I'm so sorry. Uh, let's go join the glorious assault of Voldeberg. And they're not rallying out. Nice. Nice. Archers there. Cavs there. Infs there. Infs stand closer. You're 25? Good for you, man. Good for you. Whole world ahead of us. Oh, this is going to be gloriously destructive. Also stand closer. Uh, calves stand closer as well. Oh my good god. Are we just burning them through, burning through them like it's nobody's business? Oh, it's because of the Hispanic vibe? Sure. Totally. In forward, a cav forward a bit. Just to try and get them out of the archer way. Oh my god, we're just murdering. Oh, the elves are so goddamn OP. Aren't they, Marcus? You... Axe shooting monster, you. Oh yeah, remember when I said that today's objective? Yeah, I think I think this is gonna be the first hour's objective to take the castle out. Cause nah, son, nah, this is this is just a massacre. Yeah, elves elves are so op in uh, Parisno. They need they need a good good nerfing. Either a good nerfing or a good something, I don't know. Smell the delicious, smelly smell of my balls. Oh, okay, okay, they don't want to smell my balls, got it. I, I got the memo. I got the memo, we're, we're piecing out a bit. Piecing out. So, are we waiting for the enemy to get back on the walls or something? I guess so. I guess so. Also, the calves seem to have ran out of ammo. Uh, on the left side, on the left flank, they're still shooting. So that's good. Might as well the archers to advance a bit too. Just a little bit. Like so. They're still shooting, right? Yeah, they're still shooting. Good. Just did some googling. Uh, some people are saying Alicization is the best arc, so I might give it a try then. Oh, okay. That's nice. Nah, I, I just 
don't like dubbed animes. I just don't like dubbed animes. Much more prefer the um, subbed versions. I know, I know, I know why you're doing it, Dust. Don't you worry. I perfectly understand, mate. I just, I'm just saying. Okay. Let's start healing up a bit. There we go. Throw another ball in there. Just to cast some more issues. Not really doing a lot of damage. But, should be okay. Also, I, I seem to recall that in this mod we can retreat without any uh, drawbacks. We can just go away if we want to. You know, Mike! Sub emoted when. I know I'm not here every day, and I wish I could. Awesome, high quality, chill stream. Have a good one, brew. Thanks, Mike. Also, welcome back to the end, dude. Thank you for subscribing for eight months in a row. Holy shit, dude. Okay, no problem, Des. Each, each with their own. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I was just explaining my personal taste. And uh, speaking about emotes, I'm going to be working. <laughs> I'm s I really have no idea how to go about doing that. So thinking if I should make the emotes myself, um, commission my wife to do it, or commission somebody else to do emotes. I should get on that. I should really get on that. So, what am I doing now? I have a, a hammer and an axe on me. Hello, Julian. Welcome back to the end, dude. Hey, Mike. It's okay, my man. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, I, think I might just do that. But my wife is a little bit busy with a... With another project right now, so... Might not be such a good idea. I'll see. I'll see. I'll... Oh no! No, my soul! Hmm? You started a Witcher 1 playthrough during the weekend, modded the shit out of it, mostly visual though, and you fell in love with it again. It's so much better than the second part of the series if we leave the strange more... The strange more Dragon Age origins like combat and off-camera perspective. Did you ever try it? I played the first one, but with no mods, and it was the old version, not the remastered or enhanced edition. Uh, so... Yeah. Um, and haven't been able to finish it because of the graphics. Might give it another shot someday. Someday, we'll see. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, my wife has a actual project right now, so... Mm -mm. Might not be a good idea to uh, give her this project. Or at least not yet. Most likely, Des. Most likely. I'll see. I'll see. I might, might, I might take matters into my own hands and do it myself. Problem is, I have no idea. No idea what uh, emoticons to do. So, back to leading our forces in glorious combat. Boys, start the murder. That's not a lot of inf Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, th I thought I did not have a lot of infantrymen, but now nah, we're fine. We're fine, we're good. Oh my good god. The damagio that we are causing right now is insane. And there's, there's no tactic here. Well, practically tactic is hold position. And just give your archers a clear shot of the enemy and wait. And hopefully not get yourself killed. Hello, Dimis. Welcome back to the end, man. What's up? Yeah, the the uh, elves are stupid good. For the actual image, no idea, but you need something around Tidbit and that Skyrim reference you always mention. Oh, the Wubba Jack? I guess. I guess we could go for a Wobbajack emoticon and a tidbit. Oh, and we also need to do a uh, Golly G. Willikers emoticon. I'll see. I'll see. I'll get to it. Hmm? 
maybe also do a rip a rip emoticon for when I get my ass handed to me. That'd be good. Gotta write these down. Gotta write these down when I can. So, Demis, how you doing, man? Nobody over there. And what happened? Why are we not killing anymore that much? Did they practically ran out of... I don't know. Calves a little bit to the front. Archers. As soon as they poke... Okay, okay, no. No, no, that's too much. As soon as the enemy is poking their head out from the walls, uh, my archers are shooting, but... Well, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Burr. Barar. Bararar. These these giants just yelling their lungs out without doing anything. Hi. Get attacked upon, good sir. I can't go above their shield or something. Oh, whoa. whoa, whoa. That really cost them pain. Eat my bowels. Yeah, that's causing strife. That's causing strife in there. Great. They're fighting against each other. You need um, is a min image of some mead since you do play Mountain Blade and you're naming your name that in after after all. Yeah. True. Yeah, we do need some uh, hit point in beer. Some uh, house house made beer or wine. Gotta gotta get that meat up there. Are you? Yes, yes. We caused him to go to battle. Try to cause as much chaos as possible in there. Yes, made him turn. I made him turn, boys. I have no idea how many. I remember last time I checked I had one or two. I have to verify again. Revolves homebrewed? Nah. It's gonna be the hit point brew. The hit point brew. You gotta copyright that shit. Okay. Might just retreat now. We're still getting a kill here and there for some other reason. Some of the soldiers are still firing somewhere. But no, we're gonna retreat here and re-engage. Oh boy. Ignari Stormcloak, Barum Boar have leveled up. Uh, by the way, I bet Stormcloak is a reference to Skyrim. I bet that dude is a... That Agnare guy is a reference to Skyrim or something. Oh, good golly, man. Inf there. Cav here. Arch there. And everybody stand closer once. The, the hit pint? Oh my god, that's better. The hit pint. Okay, yeah, I think we got a winner. I think we got a winner for that one, the hit pint. <laughs> that one was his. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the dude that jumped down totally. He was like, let me at him. Let me at him. I'll nab him. I'll gab him. I'll. I think, I think his name was also Scrappy Doo. Fuck yeah, it is. We gotta get all of that delicious ale. Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't care. I love shitty puns. I love shitty puns. And the hit pint is just right up my alley, man. It's just right up my alley. Sweet Jesus, we're causing... We're causing the boys damage. Infs forward a bit. 
like so. Cavalry a little bit forward, archers somewhere a little bit forward as well. Yeah. Shitty puns are life, man. Shitty puns are love. Yeah, yeah, just Chris. Um, threatens to ban me on my own channel when I do a bad pun. Or a dad joke. Sometimes, sometimes I tend to agree, because some dad jokes are just bad. Hmm. Well, you haven't seen uh, Chris in a while, because, uh, yeah, exactly. You've uh, been going nighty-night, and usually uh, Chris uh, joins in a little bit in the afternoon. Hey, Thorn. Good afternoon to you, too, man. Welcome back to the end. Let's make them pay. Yes, that's the way, Thrak. That's the way. By the way, Thrak, that headgear looks amazing. I swear. Yes. Bed for the bed lord. Okay, infs. Infantry, take a step back. Take a step back. I gotta get in there. Keeping good, man. I'm keeping good. Uh, we're attacking uh, Voldeberg now with a decent-sized contingency of... Uh, what the flying fuck? I'm trying to f throw a goddamn bomb at them. And it's not... Hey, we caused him to turn. Oh, boy. Who was throwing shit at me? Yes, smell the balls. Yeah, it's causing them to fight. Oh, by the way, I wanted to verify something. What was the button there? Battle cry, rally your wounded troops, war cry, unleash your fearsome cry to terrify weaker opponents around you, the B key. Okay, okay. Let's heal ourselves. I'd like to try something. Infantry and Cavalry charge. And that was the B key, right? Yeah, it was the B key. Let's go. B. And unleash your fearsome cry. And cause the enemy to go back. Yep. Oh my good god. Yeah, it is a cool feature. And I think it's a little bit broken in the, in the siege department. Simply for the fact that I could tell the enemies to practically get away from the entrance so we can go in. Those fire arrows are strange. Fire animation doesn't seem to follow the real arrow. Oh no, um, Akaya, it does follow the real arrow, only the animation cannot keep up with the arrow speed. That's the problem. Oh, this is bad. Where we're gonna retreat here and re-engage. If you want to keep with the uh, mountain blade niche with your emotes, if you got one more than one, you can meme it up and do a battle or when or something around that ballpark. Yeah, that seems we are going for uh, tomorrow. We're gonna be playing Gakujo, the Daimyo edition. Looking forward to that one. Nobody died except some of my allies. I wonder how many. I think they still have around two hundred and fifty left in there. This should be Dunyan Rings now. Also, finally fighting during daytime. I don't think we've engaged them in glorious combat d during daytime yet. So this should be a killer. Should be a killer siege. Right, and now everyone stand closer by one. So everybody has a little bit of space. And now let's, let's just watch the death. Hmm? Uh, it was in the game poll, this. I was just in the mood of playing Gekujo and trying out the Daimyo edition. That's all. So I've added it to the game poll and that's what people have been voting for. So let's go with that. I think it's just your imagination, Nakaya. I've been following the... Um, the fire arrow animations during nighttime, and it's confirmed that they're following their own arrow, but the arrow... I think I think the flame is 
at half the distance when uh, the arrow hits the mark. Oh my good god, VV Justice. They are OP as hell. They're OP as hell in this game. Practically grab elven soldiers and you're done. You're done. You can practically fight anything. Just beautiful. Oh man, that's good. That's good. Are they finally having their numbers dwindled? I mean this is the fourth this is the fourth siege that we're going for. Fourth attempt to assault them. If only we could. Well the enemies have arrived, so There we go. Feels like a spawn camp simulator. I guess, I don't know. I don't know what a spawn cam simulator is, my man. That should do it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's going to increase the damage we're dealing. Hopefully so. Oh, right. Right, right, right. When we, when we camp an enemy at their spawn point. I see, I see. I understand now what that means. Never knew. Fight amongst each other. You f Okay. I am missing everything, aren't I? Another big pile of enemies have been dealt with. My guess. Guess depends on the mod. Hey, the idea is the following. In some mods, archers will do the most damage in sieges. In other mods, you just charge everybody in and the infantry and cavalry will do the most damage in sieges. It's it's very hard to balance things, so things are fair. Got your nose. Got him. Throw a few more of those in. Yes, in fighting. I guess so, okay, I guess so. We're in this to do as much damage as possible. Pretty much. In and out. How many enemies do they still have? 147, oh boy. It seems they had more soldiers in there than I thought. Get off of me! Oh, you dirty little boys. Dirty. I'm just gonna clean up house here. Try to fight as many of them as I can. Also, that guy with the leather shield. What the, What would you think it was gonna happen? There. Oop. Got him. Of course. We are men. Of course we possess the dirty mind. It is an innate skill. It is within our genes. Am I just gonna have a ball with this? Seems so. Oh, whoa, that's a two-hander. That's how you kill. Ow, ow, ow. That, that, that axe came swinging down. Should've expected it to. Gotcha. Okay, a few more balls for you. Something's firing me from the... Attacking me from the side, isn't it? There you go. That guy had to go, practically. Smell... Oh, what? what's happening? The... The script's not keeping up anymore? Did it break? You're just thinking... Whoa, 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 whoa. Got to wait a wait it up a bit. You just think it might might have thought a way to make uh, starving a castle out viable. Each month, give every castle a random food supply so you can get lucky. But unless someone make it a mod, it will remain an idea. Why not? Does why don't you make it a mod? I mean, grab Floris, which is a free source mod. You can practically grab Floris and simply improve upon it. Make your own uh, Floris evolved. 
Yeah, it, it happens a lot. It happens a lot. Oh, come on. Fight amongst each other, you little shit. Well, there goes that. Hello, Yappy. Welcome, welcome back to the end, dude. Oh, okay, and what did you think of it? It was quite fucked up. Captain Luffy, welcome back to the end as well, my man. Oh my good god. There's a lot of boys in there. And I'm still keep I, I still keep receiving ac um, spears to the side. And some dudes are still shooting. Yeah, yeah, we gotta we gotta retreat here. It reminded you of running through the Moldor for the first time? Oh, it wasn't fun, man. It wasn't fun, and it took a while for me to get the hang of it on how to defeat them. Yeah, some soldiers are still shooting, and I'm dead. Okay. And I'm dead. I don't want to cosplay as a hedgehog, Akaya. Okay, maybe a bit. Maybe a bit. Oh, this, it's almost over. I'm not even going to retreat from this. I'm just going to let the boys try to deal with them. Just gonna let the boys try to finish this off. I see this. I don't know. You can always give it a give it a look and see how it works. <sighs> Pardon. Also, these guys seem to be super low tier. I like this rock and they should be able to. My boys should be able to just end this. Yippers! That's good. Incredibly relaxing, Thorn. It was just a weekend where I spent my time with my wife, relaxed. We went to dinner on uh, Saturday evening. Um, visited uh, one of the fairs in, a, in the center of town. It was very, very relaxing. And yesterday we didn't do anything anything we just stood at home and rested it was beautiful fuck yeah Dietrich is taken out of the trash he knows what's up and good Herzog Oscar your marshal you're free to go we will take all of your prisoners all of them Ilkin Hero I'll grab that Maiden of War I'll grab that and a Makavian Knight of Steel. I love that in Parisno it actually arranges the soldiers based on their tier. So, from the top highest tier to the bottom, the goddamn refugee with one dinar. Yes, yes, I had a very good time. The glorious Knight of the Great Holy Bull. Boys, look at the majesty of this beast. The Majesty, the Great Holy Bull, will make a Great Holy Bull shit on the enemy. Now I just, I, now I gotta grab one of those guys. Now I just gotta grab one of those guys. Uh, let's get rid of a Tolranian Archer. Two Tolranian Archers, I'm gonna get the Glorious Knights of the Holy Bull. Just, I gotta. Oh, I love the prisoner trips as well. I love. It's, it, I, love I, I really like uh, the entire mod in general. Pretty good. Oh yes, indeed, Akaya. That is correct. That is a life rule that you need to follow. Okay, next is the items on the gird. Nobody wants anything, I assume. Like so. Good golly. That's a lot of money. And leave the items in the item pool. There. Uh, can you just say that the fact that Perizno has troops and their lord like that is just amazing? Yeah, it is amazing. I want to hear my opinion on this matter that's been bugging you for a while now. Say you live in a different city than your hometown. Say you quit your job, break up with your girlfriend, and got nothing to tie you down there, but you need to just rest for a while and you're in need of money. What do you do? Do you stay in one place, go back home, move on to a different place, and why? 
Hmm. Well, first of all, um, I will verify if there's a, if there are any um, possible opportunities in uh, the current town that I'm living, and if and then ponder if it's worth staying, if it's worth leaving. Um, I think it's a moment while resting that you need to do a lot of research on exactly what you plan on doing with your life. Um, what are the pros and cons of that path? What do you need to do to go on that path? Um, and then verify if it's possible. And do practically a big pile of research before taking the next step. So in my case, I would most likely um, go back to my hometown. Go back to my hometown because I know that I'm going to be able to be financially secured. And from there, plan my next move plan my next move. I think that would be my um, choice, Mike. What's the story with the Illicans? How do you spell it? Um, are they any good? I know in one of the taverns you find one of them. Uh, we're actually doing the quest for them right now. Ah, uh, I see. So, Voldemort goes to Elentor. It does not go to uh, the Illicans. Yeah, Noda has asked me to conquer Voldeberg. So to take it would mean that I need to renounce my allegiance to Elentor and join and just conquer Voldeberg on my own. That's going to be shitty. That's going to be shitty. Hello, Purple Prick. Welcome back to the inn. And then regarding the Illican soldiers, they're, um, mount they're mounted archer-focused soldiers, and they're pretty good at their job. Uh, no, Yappy, I sadly don't know who that uh, lord is. Okay, let's go for it, my man. Have fun. Now, how the fuck do we do this? Do I just uh, renounce my allegiance to Elentor and attack Voldeberg? But then we're going to be at war with Elentor. And I kind of wish to make Princess Lily um, renounce her allegiance and fight against her mother. Hmm... Yeah, something like that, Akaya. Something like that, that is correct. Uh, but most more, more like uh, the Illicans were here in this territory, they were living here, and then uh, the Reich des Drachen invaded and conquered the lands. That's a human dude who starts off as a vassal of the Sooth Giants? Really? King Bullius? I, I assume it's King Bullius. I don't know why. I just got a feeling. How am I doing? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Kind of fucked up. Kind of fucked up on this situation over here. Um, took Voldeberg for Elentor, and that might have been a big mistake. Might have been a big mistake. Uh, let's talk with these guys until they stop following me. There. <laughs> Did not expect that to happen. Well, at least we confirmed that you do not need to be a vassal of a certain faction to take this place. If you do it, um, you'll not be able to finish the quest. Never mind. Suggest a course of action no longer need to accompany me. There we go. Illicans always die so fast at Drachen in games. Okay. Sounds like more drama and politics to deal with. Suppose the troops are of higher caliber as well. They're not higher. They're not stronger than uh, normal, normal soldiers. Normal uh, Reich des Drachen soldiers. Oh, this person no longer follows me. Good. This guy needs. We need to tell him to stop. It's just course of action. No longer need to follow me. Um, share what, Yappy? Spoilers with who? Oh, good luck with you, my man. Good luck, Purple Prick. You feeling prepared? I see, Akaya. That's actually an interesting story. Hmm, 
Now, what the fuck do we do now? Because, um, uh, it seems I fucked up. I won't be able to do this quest anymore. Conquer the Voldeberg. Noda has us here to conquer this place. Uh, unless, unless I renounce my allegiance to Elentor, but that's going to cause problems with the queen. Hmm. Uh, fuck it. We're going to renounce our allegiance. We're going to renounce our allegiance to Elentor. Okay, gotta make gotta make room for Tamaris. We're gonna get rid of one soldier. Baron Bor levels up. Um, Mercenary Lancer can go for right now. King Bullish, you should take him as one of your vassals. Will actually change from being a good nature lord to being a cunning lord. Really? That cunning bitch. After everything that I did for him, the bastard. Let's go with some power throw on him. Uh, give him brown throw skills. Do you have? Yeah, you do have a roll of leaf bombs. That's great. Bottom. Actually, bring these guys up. A notch. You're feeling relatively prepared, but very nervous. I see. I see. I understand. Uh, there's nothing we can help you. Uh, we can help with uh, your nervousness, my man. You just have to uh, try. Just have to try and be um, with your head on your shoulders. Just try to keep remain calm in the situation and drive like uh, the dude's not even there. Oh, I see. Wow, Yappy, that is... That goes deep, man. That goes fucking deep. Yep, pretty much. Pretty much. You do have to understand, Purple Brick, that you got this. By the fact that you know how to drive. You just have to be careful and pay attention to the road. And you'll be okay. I don't think so, man. I think the Realm of the Falcon will have some better... Better um, mounted units, but maybe that's just me. Whew. So, um, we need to attack uh, Voldeberg. We need to attack Voldeberg. Um, I gotta go find the queen fast, renounce my allegiance, and attack Voldeberg. We're gonna be at war with Elentor. Fuck, I don't even know. That's gonna make me at war with my own wife. That's a tough one, guys. It's a tough one. I don't think the queen will accept me back if we go and start a war now. Hmm. Okay. Per perfect purple brick. Then you should be good to go. You should be good to go. What do we do, guys? What do we do from here? So this quest seems to be out of our reach right now. Find a repair. Hmm. How are we looking on the book? 49% on the Anthology of the Dueler. Taking a while. Why am I not attacking the Zan Empire anymore? Because we already stopped their invasion, Sebi. We stopped the Zan invasion. Uh, they no longer receive reinforcements out of their ass. Um, and we're at peace with them right now. So that's why I'm not attacking them. Hmm. I guess. I guess so. But we wanted to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to try that mechanic now where we convince Princess Lily to fight against her mother. Yes. Let's do that. Let's do that. That seems to be an interesting scenario. And uh, it's going to get us into... Well... A unique situation because I haven't been have haven't done that in any of the mods. Let's not attack that. Let's go to Galv and sell our prisoners, and we're gonna track down our wife, and we'll see if she wants to fight against her own mother. That'd be cool. Hmm. Hello, Ranger of Valahia. 
Welcome back to the end, man. What's up? Right, this Rachid offers me some money for Banner for Baron Richard. Sure. Uh, he gave Galmel to an Archduke. Murder Hall Patrol. We don't care about the Murder Hall Patrol. Honey, listen. Can you like rebel against your mom because of my own agenda to conquer the world? If you love me, you'll join my side or die. Also, I made pancakes. Who doesn't love pancakes, woogie wizards? You know you can't say no to the pancake. The pancake mix is God. And that's how the conversation would go. And then we either file a divorce, <laughs> not by our own choice, or uh, she goes and do does what I told her. But we'll see. I have enough persuasion. I have uh, persuasion six. I think we should be able to handle that. Made 14k for prisoners, baby! That's the money. Uh, let's sell everything after, like so. And now go to Elsinore and check on and on Schmuckykins. On my wife, on Princess Lily. Lily bosoms. Jesus.